Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Disney Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. Today I want to give you my full review of this resort as well as this room. We're currently in room 1103 located in the Congress Park section of this resort. This is a one bedroom villa which means it not only has a bedroom, it has a living room which is where we're standing right now as well as a full kitchen. Now we have done an entire tour of this room where you can see all the nooks and crannies and see everything that this room has to offer. I will link that in the description box down below so that you can check it out. But today we're focusing on what our experience was like not only in this room but also at this resort. So first let's talk a little bit about Disney Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. This resort is located in the Disney Springs area and this section that we're in, Congress Park, is very close to Disney Springs. It's only a short walk which is fantastic especially if you're planning like a girls trip or a getaway where you're going to spend a lot of time at Disney Springs. Maybe you want to enjoy the entertainment, you want to enjoy the shopping, the dining. This is a great section to do just that. It's also just a few steps away from the boat, which means it'll take you to Old Key West. It'll also take you to Port Orleans Riverside and Port Orleans French Quarter. All really great resorts that have their own dining options that you might find yourself enjoying if you're staying here at this resort. There's also a lot of great ambiance and theming that you'll get over at Port Orleans Riverside and French Quarter. There are a lot of exciting happenings that take place over there as well, including live music. So it's important to keep that in mind if you're looking for something to do that's outside the parks and isn't Disney Springs, you do have other options as well. But of course, there's a lot to enjoy here at Disney Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa without having to go to another resort. This resort does have that spa, which is wonderful. There are pools here, just like at other Walt Disney World Resort hotels. Every Every section has a pool that's available to it and then there is that feature pool over in the main area by the lobby. There are a lot of activities here. You can rent Surrey bikes and other types of bicycles. There's all the other activities that you have come to know and love from Walt Disney World Resort hotels, including paid activities as well as free activities over at the community hall, which is something that we have here at this Disney Vacation Club Resort. There are also dining options available at this resort as well, which is fantastic because not only do you have the option that are at Disney Springs, but you can enjoy dining here. There's the Turf Club. We haven't eaten there yet, but that's a steakhouse. And then there is the Quick Service Artist Palette that's located at the lobby, just off the lobby actually, near the pool, near the spa. It's right there in kind of the heart of this resort. And they do have some amazing options there as well. We've talked about this in a previous Foodie Friday, so I encourage you to check that out. Again, links will be in the description. Now you've probably heard about this resort not really being for everyone. And the reason for that is because number one, it's kind of out of the way. It's not really next to anything other than Disney Springs, which is great if you wanna spend a lot of time at Disney Springs, but isn't great if you want to spend a lot of time at the parks. It's also a very sprawling resort, which means it covers a lot of ground. It almost feels like a small town or a rather large neighborhood. So if you're going to be staying at this resort, you're going to be going to the parks, you need to keep in mind that unlike some other resorts where there's like one bus stop and you just get on the bus and go, you're going to find yourself in a position where you're going to need to get on a bus and visit a number of different stops before you can make your way out. In fact, this is one of the downsides of staying at Disney Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. It can be difficult to get out. And that's something that you need to plan for and accommodate for if you're staying at this resort. And that's something you really want to keep in mind if you're requesting Congress Park as a section you'd like to stay in. Now, frankly, I don't like this section of the resort all that much for the reasons that I've described. While it is really close to Disney Springs, and I think that that's fantastic, going to the parks can be a bit of a hassle. This is the second to last stop at this resort, which means by the time the bus gets here, it tends to be pretty full. It also means you're gonna be spending a lot of time sitting on the bus once you get to this resort in order to get all the way around the loop so that you can get back to your room. And yes, again, that is time consuming. It also can be kind of annoying, especially if you're traveling with someone who needs a wheelchair. By the time the bus gets to you, there is a potential that there won't be any space 
for that wheelchair on that bus or even just for more occupants in general. Now, normally what I would recommend is to wander your way to a different bus stop. Unfortunately, there aren't any other bus stops that are close to the Congress Park section. To be more specific, there are no bus stops that are close to the Congress Park section that pick up prior to Congress Park. So you can't even really wander over to another section of the resort so that you can jump on the bus and avoid the crowds at the Congress Park station or avoid the problem of a packed bus at the Congress Park station. Now this is something as opposed to, for example, the Springs, which is that lobby area. There is the grandstand that's a very short walk from the Springs and that picks up a few stops before arriving at the Springs. So if you're staying there, you can kind of wander over to the grandstand station, jump on there, and that'll make things a little bit easier. Maybe if you have a wheelchair in your party, you want to make sure that you can get on to a particular bus as soon as possible. That's an option. But this isn't going to be an option if you're staying at a place like Congress Park. So that's important to keep in mind. Now, again, the size of this resort being large and sprawling can be a downside for a lot of people. And for me, I do feel like it is a bit of a downside because you can't really enjoy everything that this resort has to offer without doing long walks to wherever it is that you want to go. Another great example here in the Congress Park section where we're located is the pool. The pool is definitely not right nearby here. You're not really going to just walk around a corner and have access to a pool. It is a bit of a hike and that's just to get to the pool that's nearest our room in the Congress Park section. To get to the springs is even more of a hike and it's uphill. It's a long walk and that's why I think a lot of people prefer not to swim at the pool up there by the springs and they swim here in Congress Park, which we found meant a lot of people were in the pool pretty much at all times here in this section of the resort. So it didn't really feel like the relaxing environment that you might be used to with other quiet pools at Disney Vacation Club resorts or other Walt Disney World Resort hotels. And I totally understand why that would be the case. You know, kids and families, they want a place to cool off midday without having to do a major trek to the next pool, it, no matter what direction you're going. So that was something that I definitely found. I do think that if you want to be in this section of the resort and you want to have that relaxing pool environment, I think it's kind of a trade-off. You're either going to be closer to Disney Springs and have easy access to that, or you're going to be in a position where you have a quiet pool, maybe in a different section of the resort, for example, the grandstand. Now, I know I'm mentioning the grandstand quite a bit, and that's because we've stayed at that section of the resort before. In fact, we've stayed almost everywhere except for the springs at this point. And time and time again, we prefer the grandstand section of the resort. Though I will say that this room was a big hit with our family and I'm gonna tell you why, because I think it would be a great option for a number of you out there who want a more casual, relaxing, and just fun environment. So like I said, this was a one bedroom villa, which means it has that bedroom, the living room, full kitchen, and it does kind of have two bathrooms. There's a bath with a tub. There's also the bathroom, which has the toilet, as well as a walk-in shower. This is also a preferred room, which means it has a better view and is in a more ideal location. Now, of course, that is subjective. It's a more ideal location depending on who you are. If you wanted to be closer to the boat, you wanted to be closer to Disney Springs, this is fantastic. If you wanted to be closer to the feature pool, the lobby, the restaurants here at this resort, this is not the room for you. However, where this room really shined in terms of location is the view. Oh my goodness, this room has the most amazing view of Disney Springs. So right out the window, we have paddlefish. You can see the air file up there. You can see the boats going back and forth. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And you can hear the music at night. You can enjoy all of that from the comfort of your own little patio. There's no need to go over to Disney Springs to have the ambiance and the excitement and entertainment of Disney Springs, which we loved. We spent every night here in this room sitting out on that patio just in the chairs listening to the music and just enjoying the lights and the sounds and it was just great in fact we loved it so much that we made a video 
of just what we saw so that you guys can enjoy it too. But getting back to the room itself, this room did everything that we wanted it to do. We had a nice comfortable bedroom, the bathroom and shower was great. There was enough space in this room to move around for all four of us. We did enjoy some meals at the kitchen table and we spent a lot of time watching TV as well as playing games on the coffee table, which does extend up and offers more dining space as well as a a place to play card games, which is what we did. This room was also very clean. And of course it has been updated within the past couple of years. So everything does look very clean. It does look very well kept. There are some dents and dings in places, but that's just wear and tear. These rooms get a lot of use. And as a result, sometimes there are some scratches, there are some dents and dings. So that's something that we expect while we tell you about it. It's not really something that bothers us or impacts our enjoyment of the room. And in this case, it certainly didn't. Everything was comfortable. Everything was enjoyable. The only thing that I would mention, which wasn't a problem for us, but might be a problem for you, is that you can definitely hear the music in the evenings from Disney Springs. So for us, we thought this was great. It added a little bit of ambiance, a little bit of white noise in the background. If that's something that's gonna bother you, just keep that in mind. If you're looking into one of these rooms, bring a white noise machine with you, which we talk about all the time, just to make things a little bit easier and better for you and your family. But overall, we thought that this room was fine. It wasn't too loud and noisy, no problems there. Every once in a while, if someone was walking by just right, you can definitely hear them out in the hallway, but you should expect that from pretty much any other resort of this style that opens up outside into these concrete halls where the sound kind of reverberates. Is it perfect? Is it ideal? No. Is it something that you're gonna encounter pretty much anywhere you go? Yes, quite frankly, I think it impacted us two or three times over the course of the week. And when I say impacted, I mean, we noticed it. It wasn't really something that was a problem in any way. Now that we've talked about the nuts and the bolts of the resort and the room, though, I do wanna talk about some of the things that we noticed during our experience that stood out to us good, bad, or otherwise. So like I said, we're gonna be talking more about dining here at this resort in a future video, but I will say that I was really taken aback by how fantastic the quick service dining was here at this resort. We've had pretty much everything that the quick service has to offer. We did enjoy breakfast, lunch, dinner, and desserts here. And so we tried pretty much everything on the menu. There's only one item that we haven't had yet. Maybe we'll have to come back for it later. And I have absolutely nothing bad to say. It was fantastic. In fact, it was standout. This isn't a resort that's really stood out to us in the past in terms of dining options. I mean, for other reasons as well, but the dining here is always just okay. And you know, I have to say, I changed my opinion a little bit after eating here. The pizza was fantastic. There were some plant based options that were absolutely amazing. The desserts blew my mind. I didn't expect them to be much to write home about. I thought they were cute, you know, but would they be really tasty? I wasn't expecting much. Like I said, they were great. But of course, we'll talk about that in that Foodie Friday video that I mentioned. Unfortunately, some of the other things that stood out to us weren't positive, but of course we give you the good, the bad, and we tell you what our experience was in as honest a way as possible. So one of the things that stood out to us in terms of experience in kind of a negative way was that pool over in the Congress Park section. Now, like I said, it was very crowded. There were a lot of people there, which is totally fine. I understand that sometimes the dynamics of a resort means that the pool is not gonna necessarily be a quiet pool. But I will say that I was very surprised by the amount of alcohol that was being consumed while in the pool by various parties. Now. To each their own. I have no problem with you enjoying your vacation the way that you want to, but I do think that there are limits to that. I do think that you should be considerate to other guests. And generally speaking, Disney has been really good in the past making sure that this type of thing doesn't happen. For example, people aren't overly drunken, like drunken to the point where they're falling down when walking in and out of the pool and that there aren't beer cans and wine bottles around by the edge of the pool, you know, that people are cleaning up after themselves and whatnot. There didn't seem to be any supervision for a lack of a better word, not only making sure that people were obeying the rules, but also respecting the space in a way that it should have been respected. You know, you're not supposed to be consuming drinks and food in these pools at Walt Disney World. And even when there were lifeguards around kind of doing their rounds, they didn't seem to want to say anything about that, which I do find very interesting. I also do find it to be a pattern that we've been noticing Disney not really enforcing the rules that they set. And so 
that does take away from the experience for everybody. And the other thing that I did want to mention is housekeeping. Now I know we mentioned housekeeping in some previous videos and it's important to note that housekeeping here at a Disney Vacation Club resort is a bit different than housekeeping at other Walt Disney World resort hotels. So it's not daily housekeeping at this resort. You get housekeeping every four days. Some of those will be full cleanings. Some of them will just be trash and towel service. Now we did get our cleanings during this trip, which is fantastic because that is part of staying in one of these rooms. But the thing that bothered us or stood out to us about this cleaning is that it wasn't the full cleaning that it would have been at other resorts and or in previous years. And by that, I mean just last year. While the bed was made and new towels were left behind, old towels were not removed from the room, dishes were not put in the dishwasher, and the dishwasher was not turned on. We also noticed that things like tissues had been replenished, a new box had been put there next to the tissues, but the old empty tissue box had not been removed and replaced, which I know it's a little thing, but this is something that I think is worth mentioning. It's worth noting because it's not the same type of cleaning. It's not the same type of experience that it would have been before. And especially when it comes to trash, which is not picked up every day here at this resort, having tissue boxes, for example, left behind instead of changed out means there's less space in the trash to throw out the stuff that you need to. Again, trash only gets picked up every four days. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's what we observed during this stay. It, so that's just something to keep in mind. It's something we observed during the stay. And so we wanted to tell you about it. But other than that, we really did have a great time in this room. It was a great location while it did have its faults and the room provided everything that we were hoping it would. So we really had the ability to enjoy ourselves and just enjoy each other for this little getaway. But anyway, I think that about does it for our review of this resort and this room. Of course, we'd love to know what you have to say. Tell us all about it in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. If you liked this video and you like the way that we do room reviews, subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos and check that description box so you can see that room tour, the Foodie Friday and everything else that we have going on. But I think that's all for now. It's time for me to wrap up and head out of this room. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.